welcome to the project demonstration of iot smart uh, advanced parking system so here we are going to uh, send the parking status whether it is a filled or empty so here we are using three uh, ir sensors for parking slot vehicle detection and one more ir sensor to detect the entrance of the vehicle and it will open the gate and also the it will uh, so called status of this parking slot 1 2 3 will be informed to the mobile phone through esp8266 module and also it will display the so called status of parking slots s1 is filled or empty will be displayed on the 16 by 2 lcd in 0 and 1 0 nothing but empty 1 nothing but filled and uh, here we interface the three slot ir sensors for a0 a1 a2 pins and a3 pin is for this entrance ir sensor and also we are interface dc motor to the peak microcontroller through the l293d motor driver h c0 c1 and b0 b1 for esp8266 module and lcd h pin number b22 b7 so these are the input pins and output pins for this microcontroller and coming to the component wise explanation so in this ir uh, sensor module the white color led is transmitter which will transmit the ir rays and the black color is ir receiver whenever we place any object in front of this the surface of this object will be reflect the ir rays and the reflected rays will be received by the ir receiver and it will inform to the microcontroller in terms of voltage zero or one with help of this lm358 operational amplifier and same operation for every ir sensor module and next coming to the output modules like l293d so from l293d we can control two dc motors in clockwise and counter clockwise so if you want to on and off the motor we can use switches like transistor or relays but if you want to control the direction of the dc motor then we need to use l293d motor driver or abo like l298h like that so there are so many edge bridge circuits are available so here we are using l293d motor driver and uh, the dc motor will be powered with help of this 9 volt battery connector and next esp8266 this one is a esp8266 uh, driver board which will provide the 3.3 volts to operate this esp8266 module and coming to this lcd driver board with help of this potentiometer we can control the contrast of the 16 by 2 lcd display and the main motherboard so here we are going to provide the 5 volts power supply from this adapter by it will take input of 230 volts ac and provide as the 5 volts constant dc power supply and uh, it will provide as a source input here and there will be a one led indication when we switch on the kit it will start blinking so it will inform to us the microcontroller has got initialized and it start executing the instructions of reading input and output modules controlling and on this uh, motherboard so these five pins are used to load the hex code into the pic microcontroller and uh, this one is a reset switch to restart the microcontroller and this one is a capacitor to provide the like a uh, constant current if is there any spikes are generated while running the project and uh, next this is a power led indication and one more thing is there is a one crystal oscillator this is a crystal oscillator which will provide the 20 megahertz of crystal oscillating frequency for the microcontroller the purpose of the oscillator oscillator is like we have provided some instruction set to the microcontroller like read the input from the input sensors and output controlling section so these instructions will be executed whenever the system get the one pulse for instruction like that we are providing 20 megahertz pulses so that it can execute the 20 mega lines in one second so that is the fastest our fastest of our microcontroller so before demonstration we need to install two applications in your phone that is one juice ssh and another is network analyzer so these two applications after installing them go to settings uh, hotspot settings and in that change the hotspot name to project 4733 without any space and without any capital letter and the password should be 129 after enabling the hotspots and now go to the network analyzer app and keep it there and switch on the power source to the kit so once the power got switched on we can see the welcome message on the lcd screen and after wifi got initialized this light will on and off two times right it initialized and now go to the network analyzer app go to the options and do lan scan and 
and here we will get the IP address of our ESP8266 module. So this one is, we need to note down that 192.168.43.70. Go to the Juice application, manage connection, click on add and here write. We need to do three settings now. One is Telnet, type is Telnet and IP address which we got from the network analyzer app 43.70. 192.168.43.70 this second setting and third setting is port number 8080 these only three settings should be done and click on mark and now so next time just when you open this application that you can see this and you can just click on that so now it is continuously sending the data to our application so as of now there is no vehicles so if any vehicle comes then the system will open the gauge sorry we need to connect the battery here so one more important after connecting the battery the vehicle comes and uh, after some time it will open the gauge Right. So now the vehicle detects, it will go inside and the vehicle will be parked in front of the parking one slot and now we can see that parking slot one full and also same status will be displayed on this LCD screen S1 is filled and S2 and S3 are empty. So like that same thing gate opens and it will be parked here. right so now s1 s2 s3 are full right and if any vehicle goes off right Same. thank you